Kansas can taste it. They come back from nine down. Super Mario Chalmers, the shot you'll be watching the rest of your life. The 2007-2008 Memphis Tigers, which stunted their growth. According to the NCAA, the 2008 Memphis Final Four team season never happened. Although we all witnessed the drama unfold and how great that team was right up until the very end. It was one of the most exciting college basketball teams I've ever seen, with one of the best point guard talents in the history of basketball leading the ship in Derrick Rose, pre-injury. Back in 2008, the Memphis Tigers, led by coach John Calipari and arguably the most hyped freshman entering college since LeBron James, again Derrick Rose. I first caught on to Rose's radar his senior year in high school, watching young talent like he, Tyreek Evans, a year younger than Rose, and guys like Eric Gordon and OJ Mayo. Rose in particular was special to me as it was easy to see he would be a transcendent talent. I don't know about you, but I've never seen this in a high school game until Derrick Rose did it. I've always said this about D. Rose. His game literally reminds me of no one. I never heard a Derrick Rose comparison that I thought made sense. The way he moves is samurai-esque and his contortion mixed with athleticism and strength is a mixture before its time that I don't think we'll see for a long time. Rose's athletic ability was on full display in high school with the only knock I could find on his game was his jumper needed a lot of work fundamentally and result-wise. A jumper he has fixed drastically over the years. When Rose announced that he would attend Memphis, I wasn't too sure why he didn't choose a more prominent program at the time like Duke, Kansas, Kentucky, or even stay close to home with Illinois. John Calipari had returned to college basketball in 2000 from his NBA stint as coach and from 2000 to 2008, he hadn't really made a significant splash in college basketball. Then he landed Derrick Rose for the 07-08 season and in came all the eyes as D. Rose was the number one prospect leaving high school and a clear cut one and done player. Getting him was a big deal, but it wasn't just him. They had one of the most underrated players in Chris Douglas Roberts, an intimidating Joey Dorsey, and the perfect collection of role players that were all long and played with a chip on their shoulder. Rose was the final infinity stone, so to speak. That team swept through the regular season, only losing to Tennessee until the championship game. Had these three things not happened, they would have been one of the best college basketball teams ever. Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth. Let's get it, man. The 08 Memphis Tigers came together organically as upperclassmen, CDR, the Conference Player of the Year, and First Team All-American. Joey Dorsey and Antonio Anderson made the regional final two straight years prior to 07-08 with identical 33-4 records both years. Like I said, Rose was the final Infinity Stone. He chose Memphis, who recruited him since his early days playing AAU and after his AAU teammate Eric Gordon decided against pairing with Rose at Illinois, Rose chose Memphis. Also because of their track record developing NBA talent and a chance to be mentored by Rod Strickland. John Calipari, who was famous for his dribble drive motion offense, couldn't have found a better group to run it. Add to that, they all got along perfectly it seemed and were just unselfish enough for the offense to work almost to perfection. Their resulting 38-2 record and making it to the national championship game proves that. Stunt number one, careless play down the stretch. 
the first growth stunt that season that cost them immortality as a college team was in the last minutes of the game it seemed like they all relaxed and got way too careless with the ball for an experienced team like Kansas who had in my opinion the best backcourt in the history of KU basketball. It all started at a minute 54 left in the game and Memphis up 60 to 53 with a chance to ice the game if only Memphis had just a little more focus. Leading the mental laps was their star freshman Derrick Rose. With Kansas already in quick foul mode and the Tigers in one and one situations the rest of the game, Antonio Anderson attempted to inbound the ball to the first free man he could find which unsurprisingly happened to be Rose. Rose casually met the ball, which led to a quick steal from Sharon Collins, taking it right from Derek and quickly saving it to who? Mario Chalmers. After a failed drive, Chalmers made a crucial decision not to force a shot and made a pass that ended up back to Collins for a wide open corner three, which he drained all net. I've always had this one problem with Derrick Rose even to this day. I don't know what it is, but he always seems to play shockingly loose with the ball in closing minutes of games. It's almost like he's too poised. Even in the league, his turnovers late have cost his teams. That mental lapse brought the score to 60-56 Memphis. CDR got fouled on the inbound following and made the next two free throws. A minute 23 left, 62-56, and Kansas was dead in the water until Joey Dorsey got his arm caught too long on a Chalmers off-ball screen, called for his final foul. That led to two huge free throws for KU, canned by Mario Chalmers. Four-point game, Memphis gets the ball across half court and CDR casually dribbles like the game is over instead of moving the ball around. He's fouled and misses the front end of a one and one KU comes down and scores down low, bringing the game within two points. A minute left and Rose is again careless and almost turned it over after Calipari told him not to give it up. The clock winds down after both teams missed attempts. CDR has the ball, 16 seconds left on a fast break and what does he not do? Dribble the ball back out and again use more time. He instead tries to drive and gets fouled. Stunt number two, missed free throws. For the 07-08 season, the Memphis Tigers shot horribly from the free throw line at just 61%, ranked 329th best in the NCAA. During that game, Derrick Rose was the only person to shoot at least 70% from the foul line, with Memphis having a typical game for them from free throw that season. So, with 16 seconds to go, Memphis up to and CDR heading to the line again, what does he do? Misses the first of two free throws. Now a chance to make it a three point game, he missed again. Miraculously, PJ Dozier comes up with the rebound and the ball finds its way to Derrick Rose, who arguably ran from the late game free throws up until then. He's fouled and headed to the line. To my first point, CDR somehow has the ball after Rose is fouled and another lapse of judgment, he pounds the ball into the ground to the sky, which should have been a technical foul that the refs didn't call. Rose steps to the line, 10 seconds to go and misses the first free throw and makes the second. Three point game, Kansas going full court in one of the greatest shots I've ever seen in NCAA history, they make a three to tie the game and completely suck the momentum from Memphis heading into overtime. One, the Tigers never prepared or were up for, still dwelling on the collapse they just had. They were no match from then on. Stunt number three, Mario Chalmers and Sharon Collins. Can't say enough about these two guards for the late game they played that night. They made no mistakes down the stretch on offense and had the biggest sense of urgency I've maybe ever witnessed myself. Play after play, they made in perfect sync with one another as if they were the only two KU players on the floor. Salute to Darrell Arthur. 
I remember hating Mario Chalmers for a long time and calling him all the names in the book after that game. I still don't like seeing his face today, respectfully. But I can acknowledge he was one of the most clutch, cool college players ever, man. So good. For the game, he had 18 points, 4 steals, and of course, that beautiful game-tying 3. Sharon Collins, who was just as good, had 11 points, 6 assists, and 3 crucial steals to end the game, playing one of the all-time great late-minute games of all time. In overtime, Memphis continued to be careless with the ball, while KU dominated the 5-minute overtime, winning the game and a championship, with Memphis only scoring 3 points in extra time. All in all, the hardest game I've ever had to watch as an underdog and Derrick Rose fan. Kansas deserved that game because they never gave up and exposed Calipari's motion offense, adjustments, seeing as they should have fouled Collins before Chalmers hit the tying three, and also freshman Derrick Rose and junior CDR. Still a good season for the Tigers, but just couldn't close on a chance to win an unbelievable title. Of course, that year was later scrapped altogether after the NCAA investigation on Derrick Rose found that he didn't take the SAT himself, therefore was ineligible. He had already left for the NBA by then, and Coach Cal left after the next season for the richest contract in college coaching history, 8 years, $31 million to Coach Kentucky. In just two minutes, Memphis gave up one of the biggest lost championships of all time. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth.